The leaders of South Korea's main rival parties hailed yesterday's agreement on the upcoming round of reunions. Both said it's a positive first step toward implementing a deal reached last month between the two Koreas that helped defuse military tensions on the peninsula. Shim young gil has more. The leader of the ruling Saenuri party said it was wonderful that the two Koreas had agreed to hold family reunions for 200 war-separated families, adding his hope that the event would build momentum for better inter-Korean cooperation. Our party will work toward holding reunions on a regular basis and increasing the number of people chosen from each side to reunite with their relatives. We hope this event will help bring peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula and enhance bilateral relations. He also suggested holding higher-level talks to prevent inter-Korean relations from worsening due to a possible missile launch by North Korea next month. October 10th marks the 70th anniversary of the foundation of the North Ruling Workers' Party. The main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy also welcomed the family reunion agreement, adding that South Korea should continue to work toward improving human rights in the North. Human rights is a universal value. Therefore, South Korea should make efforts to improve and protect the North Korean people's human rights. We urge this Henry party to cooperate in passing the North Korean Human Rights Act to promote basic human rights. He went on to say that promoting human rights in North Korea should be done to substantially improve the lives of the North Korean people. The act has been pending in parliament for 10 years. The opposition chief also urged the government to continue working toward inter-Korean dialogue and exchanges to maintain the hard-won compromise of last month's inter-Korean agreement. Shim Young-gil, Arirang News.